once you start blaming yourself for deaths that aren't your fault, my friend, that's a slippery slope that you can't come back from. And trust me, I've seen it ruin a hell of a lot of good doctors, and I will not let it happen to you. And because he said that, I knew it wouldn't. Twenty minutes after you left, he went into cardiac arrest. We tried to resuscitate him, but there was nothing we could do. Oh, man, bummer. This shouldn't have happened. Guilt's a funny thing. It can lead to denial. Kid screwed up. No, he didn't. He told you he has way too many patients. He swamped. The kid screwed up. Okay. Darn kid! I'm on call tonight. Not anymore. I'm taking all your patients. So wait, you think this was my fault? Hey, this is an emotional situation, so why don't you just go easy on the kid? It was your fault. Now get the hell out. Well, that was good. That was good listening. Thank you. Yep. Where are you going? Your shift's not over. Hey! Remember what you told me? The second you start blaming yourself for people's deaths, there's no coming back. Yeah. You're right. Well, I just want to say that what happened, it wasn't your fault. And I'm sorry. Thanks. I really need to hear that. Good. Come on, let's get dressed and go. Shower shorts. For the man who has nothing to hide, but still wants to. I got to go and do my shift with Dr. Cox. Right then, I knew what I had to do. Hey. What's up? Never tell you. <sighs> Probably wonder why I didn't show up before, huh? I know you wanted me to, even though you'd never admit it. Normally, I would kill to get into this apartment. And you try and keep me out. I say try, because at your Super Bowl party, which I was not invited to, I was lucky enough to be able to watch the second half from right over there. I was the bearded Domino's employee you invited in because I said I was a fan of Jerome Bettis, whatever the hell that is. Anyway, I tried to convince myself the reason I didn't come earlier was because of you coming into work drunk. But that's not it. I was scared. I guess after all this time, I still think of you as like this superhero that'll help me out of any situation I'm in. I needed that. But that's my problem, you know, and I'll deal with that. I guess I came over here to tell you how proud of you I am. Not because you did the best you could for those patients. But because after 20 years of being a doctor, when things go badly, you still take it this hard. And I gotta tell you, man, I mean, that's the kind of doctor I wanna be. Maybe he just needed time to heal, or maybe he just needed to see how much everybody cared. But I'd like to believe it was because of me that he was finally able to say this. You don't drink scotch. <gasps> That's awful. <clears throat> Acceptance can take a lot of different forms. Whether it's accepting that it's okay to show your soft side every once in a while. Well, it's official. Chris left the band. Well, Dad, you know what I think? Good riddance to him. You'll find another tenor. Thank you, sir. And if you don't, who cares? You all stink anyway. Or accepting someone you love just the way they are. Can you tie my time, Mrs. Espinosa? So now how come you don't have to get all dressed up? I am dressed up. Did you see any holes in these pants? No. I'm glad you made it. Listen, there's one more thing you have to do for me. You can't keep me from getting drunk. You have to forgive yourself for everything that went down the other day. <laughs> you, you're so annoying. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
Good. Now, where's your camera? Aren't you... Aren't you gonna take some pictures? Pictures of what? No. Crying babies covered in chocolate. People singing happy birthday to my son who've never even met him before. You know, the, the whole routine. Where do you think we are? Your name is the splinter inside me. But in the end, the most important thing to accept is that no matter how alone you feel, how painful it may be, with the help of those around you, you'll get through this too. That's the thing about family. If you fall off the deep end, you can always count on them to rally around you. When you come back, you might get a quick hug, a pat on the shoulder, maybe just a nod. But no words really need to be spoken. Of course, it's always nice when they are. JD. Thank you. Welcome. 